So this is a short video on Payload CMS. Basically what I wanted to do was figure out how can I create some buttons kind of over here in this side menu that could take specific action against the page that I'm on. So if I go back to my user collection, I can click on a specific user and then there's some buttons that I can do something with. And the buttons have context of where I am. So and there's two different types of actions that you could have over here. You can have one that's a client side and have one that's a server side. So let me show you kind of how I did that. So if you see over here, I'm in my user collection. If we scroll down to... So basically what I've done, I've created two UI fields. So to type their UI only. And I say in the admin position to the sidebar. So I get them two on the sidebar. And then if you saw my other video on custom components, this is the way you do it now. You kind of just specify the path of where the component is as the field. And so that's how we get them showing here. So next let's take a look at what we're actually doing inside the custom button. And so for, we'll, first we'll look at this custom button. So you can see here on this custom button, notice how it's specified use client. So that means it's running on the client side only. And then there's a specific set of props that you're going to get passed over. And if I, let's see, how can I show them? We type here and click props. Let's type strip, you can see these are the fields that I'm getting passed in when I'm running my button on the client. And the, the difference between client and server is just as you know, whether it's client rendered or server rendered. I was poking around to try to see is there a difference of things that I can do, but in reality, I can get my payload API here to do make API calls that I want to. I can use the hooks that exist to get information about my current documents. So like this one, when I click on it, what it does is just displays current user info and I can log it out. So this is kind of a client side configuration, but then you can also have a server side configuration. So if I look at my server button, here you also get a different set of props on the server side too. So let's do the same as we did on the client. So if I say props, you see there's a whole new set of functions that you get here. Like here you get the request path, you get the user, you can actually get the, the payload object, a bunch of other stuff that you get access to. But the difference is that for me what I found was that if I'm trying to do some sort of interaction with the UI, I don't, I don't really get much of a benefit from using a server client because I can't handle click events in a server client. So I have to put a, I have to have this component that wraps client components. So that's what I did in this example. If I click on a button, because I can't put a button directly in here. So if I click on a button and we open up this file, you'll see inside of this a button, I can actually do things. I can respond to user events in this click. And then also because of the way that and so now I have an action that I call here a server action since this is a client component I want to make a server action call in my server action I get my payload con I get my payload object and then I make this API call and it returns a value all right so now you've seen how we can either use a custom button as a client and then get access to the basic information that's provided to us make API calls using the use payload API, or if we do the approach where I have a custom server button, I don't know why I'm calling it custom server button, it's basically a UI field, that's server, it's wrapped, we saw it to be different data, and since I want to do client actions, I can't handle the click event here, so I have to handle it inside of my button, and then inside of my button, I can call an action to do things on the server. Like I said, wanted to keep this quick. Hopefully you found this interesting. Leave any questions below. Thanks. See you next time.